Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we will talk about how to get into cryptocurrency mining. I often get the question if this or that is worth it so I thought it would be a good idea to do a video on the topic. First of all, no one will ever be able to tell you if any kind of hardware is worth it, profitable or will reach return of investment. The crypto world just does not work like that as it is changing daily if not hourly. But one can give some tips and I will also tell you how I got into mining. This will also explain better why I don't like is it profitable questions as my mining beginnings were not worth it at all when looking at it at the time. But looking at it now it could have made me more than rich. But more on that later. There are four big categories of mining you can choose from. ASIC, CPU, GPU and FPGA. My personal opinion is that diversification is always key and to never set all your eggs in one basket. But if I had to start over today, what would I do? My first and only real recommendation for a beginner is to start with what you already have. Do you have an office, work or gaming PC? Then you already have your first small rig. That is where I would start to learn how mining works, get familiar with some different types of software and dip your toes into mining. This is the time where you will look into new projects, maybe find your own little gems you want to get behind. So this can be your foot in the door for CPU and GPU mining. In the beginning, all-in-one software like Nysash and others are a good way to learn, but in the long term I would recommend to look into more specialized software. For these you have to do and configure more, but generally your fees will be much lower, meaning you earn more. After that, you can make a more informed decision on what you want to do next. Do you want to get more GPUs or do you want a specialized piece of machinery like an ASIC or FPGA? You can find videos on all of these topics on the channel. Even full build guides if your interest for building yourself has awoken. So after my initial tips, how did I get into mining? Honestly, I did it in a more risky way. In 2013, I ordered some Bitcoin USB miners. These were my beginnings called Antminer U1 and U2. After mining for some time, the first big ASIC for Bitcoin came out, the Antminer S1, and at that time it cost around 600 euro. I risked it all and ordered it. And here is also the reason why I don't like the is it profitable questions. Back then I was basically burning electricity as Bitcoin was around $200. Yes, you heard right, $200. People who knew what I was doing were laughing at me, but if I had kept what the machine earned back then, well, I would be recording these videos from an island now. My stupid mistakes from that time are stories for other videos. Also, between 2015 and 17, people were laughing at me for letting my personal and work PCs mine in off time. As they said, you're only earning dust, it's not worth it, etc. But I can tell you that even without forks tailored to CPU mining, the few cents a day did eventually pay off all my PCs as a whole. In that special case it was Monero and depending on when you watch this video, XMR is planning to switch to a more CPU centric algorithm called RandomX soon. So CPU mining will get more interesting in the future yet again. The most important thing I wanted to tell you is to not take momentary earning snapshots and these mining calculators too seriously. As mentioned, the crypto world changes all the time. Go slowly with what you already have, then start to expand step by step and try to find the projects you believe in and you will be rewarded. I can say that getting into mining was one of the best decisions of my life, even having mined through several bear markets in my crypto history. If you have any questions besides is this profitable or is it worth it please don't hesitate to ask in the comments also we have a discord server with a lot of awesome folks who always help out newcomers or just exchange ideas if you would like a follow-up on anything particular please also just tell me that's already it's a small introduction into what i would recommend to do in the beginning and also how i started to get into mining next week is already time for the next monthly farm update i wish all the best to each and every one of you happy mining and bye